Hello and welcome, Genitora here. So today I decided to make a video on all of the joke items that you can obtain from playing a Cobby's Wheel. Some of these items actually have a use, though most are just for fun. I will warn you if you do make a Cobby run out of items to give, you can lock yourself out of a legendary weapon. I'll leave a link on how to get that item at the end of the video with the caveat that you do not actually need to steal and can just purchase the ring that leads to the legendary item by using one of the buttons at the bottom left of the dialogue screen instead. A copy still treats the ring as stolen in the dialogue, but this is an easier way to do things if you do not want to risk getting caught. Alas. 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 Anyway, let's take a look at some of these items. You need to spin the wheel for 500 gold to pop and make sure you let Akabi continue to rig the game. I do not know if the order is set on what prizes you get or not, but there are 16 items in total. We have the Eternal Carafe of Wine, or sometimes Acid. I forgot to test throwing this and then resting to see what effects it could have. I don't know if it refills or not. <laughs> but uh, next up is the Definitely a Broom of Flying which bestows the ability to fly to things that can already fly, specifically winged creatures besides chickens. I don't think this has a useful application in the game. Moving on to the next joke item in our list is the other hand of Vecna. It does nothing as far as I know, unlike the actual hand of Vecna, which I do not believe is obtainable in the game, but is definitely known in some tabletop campaigns. Another item in the list is the Magical Walnut. Now, I tested this to see if throwing it on the ground and then slaying the planter worked, but I do not think we can actually plant things in the game. And doing this had no effect regardless. Opening the bag does show they can use the walnuts for camp supplies, however, so there's some use there. Oh look, we have a plus one breastplate. But reading the description Further tells us it's for bringing a plus one to a wedding or other special event. I'm sure by this point in the game you have much better equipment anyway. Our next item in the list is the Charessa's Caress Voucher. However, it's expired. I didn't bother testing this, but it could have potentially unlocked an additional dialogue option at the Charessa's Caress. Soon, we'll be getting to some items that may have a use, but for now, we have the Lonely Left Boot of Elven Kind. These boots only work when in a pair, so this item has no effect. You can wear them, and it does still show your character model wearing two boots, so it's not a unique model. I thought I may have showed you wearing one boot, but even an icon has two boots in it. I suppose it's one boot of Elven Kind and another normal boot being worn. Now, our next item in a while that can actually have some use to it the Unlucky Thief's Gloves. It boosts your sleight of hand skill by two. Also, whenever you steal something, you obtain a piece of coal magically sorted into your inventory. The coal doesn't have much value, but hey, it works. Next item is the comeback hand axe. If you throw it, it flies back into the thrower's face. Or it's supposed to at least. I imagine if I tested it in actual combat, it would have worked as advertised. Throwing at my allies outside of combat, however, had no additional effects. It is otherwise just a normal plus one hand axe. The bag of molding is the next item in the list. Placing any food item in here turns it into a moldy food item. And they do still give supplies. Makes me wonder if rotten food would be converted into moldy food instead and you could actually get some supplies out of them that way. Uh, anyway. It even works on the strange apple you may have come across at some point in Act 3. It did change that strange apple into a moldy food item, but had no additional effects on it. The Staff of a Mumbling Wizard. It got extremely lucky with this item, as it made the fireball question mark into a fireball on the first try. That's what this item is about. It gets a special action that has a chance to either cast Firebolt or Fireball as a cantrip. The Mirror of Aging is another item that is given which just has a silly description. If you stare into it long enough, you will slowly age. Especially if you stare at it for over a decade, it will show you as an elderly person. The next silly item we have on display are the Boots of Very Fast Blinking. 
when you use the special missing step that these boots give, you leave all of your equipment at your previous location besides your underwear. Not very useful, but it is pretty funny, or perhaps stressful depending on when you found out about the effect, when you first used it. Akabi's Old Lamp is another reward you can obtain. It smells like old socks, but as far as I'm aware, has no hidden effects. The gem of restitution I tested by selling it, but it did not reappear in Akabi's pockets or my own, like advertised. Perhaps after a long rest, it would have done so. Uh, imagine if you could resell this item over and over. That's a lot of money. <laughs> it's too bad, even if it did work as advertised, Akabi still technically owns it, so it just go in his pocket instead. So, for our final item, we have the Reverse Rain Cloak. So long as you wear this cloak, you will be forever considered under the wet status effect. You can expect all the benefits and downsides that being wet has to be applied. So, fire won't be effective on you, though cold and lightning will be much more effective against you. I wonder if this means you will be permanently clean though. No more blood on you, perhaps? Also, as a little bonus item, it's not really a reward, but you can get a Akabi on your bad side and he'll turn you into a wheel of cheese. Shagorath from Elder Scrolls would be very proud. You can actually move around as the wheel of cheese and cast Stinking Cloud. There's also a book you can read about a cheesomancer. I suppose Akabi is very practiced in the cheesy arts. Anyway, that concludes this video. Leave a comment below if you found any additional hidden effects that these items have that I did not cover. Like and subscribe if you had an enjoyable watch. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a good one.